Hey folks, happy Tuesday. We uh, continue our prayer calendar, Tuesday, March 15th. Um, and the prompt today is, how can I forgive others? How can I forgive others? And there is uh, a powerful passage. So open in your Bible to Luke chapter 23. Uh, perhaps uh, two of the most powerful stories of forgiveness in all of Scripture. So Luke chapter 23 verse 33. Luke is in your New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, as you uh, find it there. Luke 23, 33. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing, and the people stood by watching. But the leaders scoffed at him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself, if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do not fear, do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we, indeed, have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. And so these two, two stories, one, Jesus is forgiving, is asking God to forgive the people who, uh, the very people in the very moment that they are crucifying him, dividing his clothes, deriding him, offering him sour wines or teasing him. Um, in, in, the, in the heat of the moment, Jesus is asking God to forgive them before they even commit all of the sins. Jesus is asking God to forgive them. This goes to this uh, nature of God's forgiveness as we've been talking about it the last couple of weeks. And, and then there's a, there's a thief, a criminal, um, one who is uh, in judgment of Jesus, the other who is in worship of Jesus. And he is forgiven and told that he, the one who's in worship of Jesus, is told that uh, he will be uh, welcomed into paradise on that very day. And so we get this sense that your entire life you could be sort of a scoundrel. And at the last minute you give your life over to God and, and God isn't asking the question, well, why not before or any of those are, are holding it against you, but yet God's forgiveness is given even to that one who's done very little in their life until the very last moment. And they're made right with God again. Again, it, it just goes to the nature of God's forgiveness. And it's a nature that, that quite frankly is hard for us to understand. The depth of that kind of forgiveness is in many ways, I think, beyond human capacity. And it is only by the grace of God that we might get there. So as the question today says, uh, how can I forgive others? And it gives us these examples of Jesus. I would, uh, I would say to us that part of the deepest kind of forgiveness that we can offer is not actually ours to offer. It's God's to offer through us, that it's God's work, God's grace that leads us to that place, that we cannot do it alone, um, that we are forgiven by God. And, and the best kind of forgiveness that we can give to others is the work of God in our lives. Um, so, uh, I, I pray that God can do some of that work in your life and through your life this day. God bless.